What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix HDMI no audio. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now I was actually having this problem the other day and this is the reason why I'm making this tutorial because it's actually very simple to fix. Now the first thing I'm going to be showing you is updating your drivers. Now yes I know you can go from device manager and then simply update them one by one but what I recommend is actually coming to the description and downloading Intel driver update utility. Now if you come to this website and you scroll down as you can see it says install it right here. Now when you open it up this is what it will look like. As you can see update your computer with the latest Intel drivers in three easy steps and it's simply that easy. All you do is select start scan. And this is the way I actually fixed my problem as well. As you can see it's telling me the latest drivers here and as you can see if I select them by ticking them off all I need to do is select download and then install them. Now what I found was when the graphics driver actually updated and installed then it started to work. But be aware once you do the update make sure you restart your computer or laptop after. As you can see I've already got it so I don't really need to do this. But like I mentioned once the graphics card or the graphic drivers are updated then restart your laptop or computer and then it should fix the problem. That is what works for me. I'm just cancelling all these now that's why they say failed. But the next way I'm going to be showing you if you come over to the speaker icon right click it and select playback devices. Now bear in mind if your HDMI cable is already plugged in, mine currently isn't, then as you'll see right here this high definition audio, right click it and select disable. That might work. Or keep this one checked, working and if this one is enabled or any other playback is enabled right click it and disable it. Also right click and show disabled devices and disconnected devices and disable them as well. And that is the way I fixed my problem, hopefully this works for you as well. What I do recommend though is trying the driver update first though because that is the one that worked for me. But that is it for this tutorial, I hope this has helped you and I hope this has worked for you. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.